Good morning and happy Monday and welcome to another week. I slept amazing last night because this bed is the bomb. <laughs> it was so comfortable, I passed out so hard. Yesterday, I mean I filmed some of it and it would have been in my last vlog. Uh, we were in Los Angeles all day, still in Los Angeles. I actually have to head down to catch the um, bus to the airport in a minute. Went to In-N-Out Burger, it was amazing as usual. Came back, napped. I was gonna work out but um, I fought the nap and the nap won. Thumbs up if you got that reference. It woke up like right before we were supposed to meet back downstairs, walked to the, well we walked about halfway to the beach and then the first officer called an Uber because he was like, I'm over this. So we went to Manhattan Beach, walked all up and down there, got a drink at a place called, oh I can't even remember what it was now. It was right on the beach though and it had like a beachy vibe. It was nice. It was right by the Man by Manhattan Beach Pier. I can't talk. I'm like, the coffee is starting to kick in so I'm talking faster than my brain is actually sending the words to my mouth. Uh, after that we went to a place called Simsy's to get food and another drink. It was so good. I got fish tacos. They were phenomenal. So if you're ever in Manhattan Beach, I highly recommend Simsy's. Um, it was... It, we waited like 20 minutes uh, to be seated because, I mean, it was Sunday around dinner time, so of course it was busy. Now today, I mentioned that I wasn't sure if it was Los Angeles to Charlotte and then to Raleigh, but it's actually just Los Angeles straight to Raleigh, and it's on a 319. Not a lot of you know what that means, but usually West Coast is a 321, which has about 187 people and four flight attendants. The 319 has 112 people. <laughs> 112 people in first class and then 12, so 124 has 124 people so it's just gonna be me and the other flight attendant in the back and then our lead up front but it's like a four and a half hour flight almost five hours so we're gonna have a lot of downtime because it's gonna where our services are gonna be able to just like we're gonna breeze them out or breeze them out that's not a saying I don't know it's yeah I'm in Raleigh now. I already had dinner, and which was a giant protein cookie. Uh, if you ever get the chance to have a Lenny and Larry or Larry and Lenny, I don't know. It's called the Complete Cookie. They have delicious flavors. It tastes like a straight up cookie, and it's good for you, and it's got protein in it, and it's basically amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you ever get the chance to have one of those, then do it. Uh, Raw or LA to Raleigh was pretty easy, like I s said earlier or this morning, whatever. Uh, I figured that it would be because it was only, you know, 112 people. Uh, I'm pretty tired now and we have an early wake up tomorrow, so I am just working on last week's vlog and that's about it. I'm going to bed soon and it's only quarter after seven. Well, today has just been one mess after another. I was originally on call, wrap B, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, I looked last night it was like nine or ten ish still hadn't been assigned anything because i knew that i was only number two for good for two days so i thought you know maybe i would get assigned something last night and i double checked before bed and there wasn't anything on my schedule except that i was rap b so i woke up this morning and was kind of looking at stuff and realized that i wasn't on the reserve list anymore I looked at my schedule and something had been assigned. I checked, we have a remark screen and it will give the time that a trip has been assigned. And it said that it was assigned last night, like before I had checked last night. I don't know if they assigned it and it just never transferred to this other system or I, I have honestly no idea. Because I was on rest, they couldn't notify me of the trip last night if they did actually assign it last night. They couldn't notify me because then they would be interrupting my rest and then my rest would start over. Or once I noticed it this morning, I was just kind of waiting for them to call and waiting and waiting and I mean going about my day because it was a late, like I didn't have to be at the airport until 4.55 and they never actually called. I got to the airport and was like... I have no pairing number. I, I explained pairing number in a previous vlog. It's just the number that gets assigned to a trip. But 
Today was just a deadhead. So theoretically, today was supposed to be super easy. It was just a deadhead from Charlotte to Philly. And then tomorrow is Philly, Charlotte, and then a Providentialis turn. I called them when I got to the airport and was like, I don't know if I, how I'm supposed to sign in. Nobody ever called me to notify me that I had this trip. Y'all are lucky that I'm even here. Like, I just happened to see it. And he goes, oh, well, I'm glad you looked and... Thanks for calling. Just nobody ever, I fear, really I didn't have to show up. I could have, but I then, I figured that they would probably call and be like, where are you? And deadhead me up on a later flight. So nobody ever notified me or the other two flight attendants. We get to the hotel and they never sent our information that we were staying here to the hotel. So I just got in my room, it's quarter after nine. We waited almost an hour. I think it ended up being about 50 minutes because they sent the wrong information twice and so we had to call back a couple times and be like, we need rooms. I'm so tired. I'm trying to stay positive. I'm in the B position, which I like B. And it's an island turn, but it's one of the harder island turns. I just gotta sleep on it. And when I wake up, everything will be better. Hello, it is Monday. I didn't really vlog a lot last week, um, so I think I'll probably combine last week's with this week's, considering I haven't even uploaded last week's yet. I got a three-day trip yesterday. It was assigned to me on Saturday. But I've been struggling with really bad migraines the past few months, and my doctor's appointment for it isn't until September, so I've still got like a month before that appointment and I've been pretty lucky and haven't had to call out due to the migraine up until now. Yesterday like the Advil wasn't working and I was just, I pretty much slept all day. It just, that was <laughs> the only way that it wouldn't hurt is if I was asleep. I was still kind of shaking it off today. I started feeling better and I really hate feeling useless like yesterday considering I didn't really get out of bed all day. I couldn't just sit and do nothing all day again today and tomorrow. So I'm going to attempt to finally put together my dresser. I've got a little dresser that's going to go right here. I'm also really scared that this is going to um, trigger another migraine so I'm going to attempt it <laughs> and open my window and yeah but I've got all my stuff I'm going to stain it and paint some of it white that's what my I mean it's already the evening it's like six o'clock already um because the migraine didn't really start fading until the afternoon but we'll see how this goes and hopefully it doesn't bring the migraine back um oh uh, so what happens when you call out sick uh, because yesterday was my first day of the trip, then I'm considered off or I show as sick for every day of that trip. So because I got a three day, I now show sick for today and tomorrow. If I still don't feel good on Wednesday because I'm on call Wednesday and Thursday, then I can call and extend it and I can stand my sick day up to um, 21 days. Like after 21 days, then I need a doctor's note. I'm just really hoping that I won't have to extend it because I don't like calling in sick. It's Thursday now, and as you can tell, I'm on my way to the airport. <coughs> oh, bless me. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm on my way to the airport. I've got a Baltimore turn. I'm feeling better for the most part. I'm not sleeping hardly at all, and I don't know if that has to do with the migraines. It was Tuesday afternoon, I started getting another migraine and I just wasn't gonna play around with potentially getting one yesterday. So I extended. In hindsight, I probably should have extended today too. I'm just trying to feel better, but I'm off tomorrow and Saturday. So that's why today I was like, well, I'll just get a turn. I can handle that. It shouldn't cause too much of a migraine. And even if it does, then I have another two days off. I'm back in Charlotte. And I thought that I could handle today. I mean, I did. It was just to Baltimore and back. But I really thought the chances of me getting another migraine were pretty slim. And oh, it happened. It's not too bad. Like, the pain itself isn't... It could be a lot worse. Um, it's just... 
it's just there and very present. The light sucks and loud noises suck and talking right now sucks. <laughs> but I can handle this, especially now that I just get to go home and go to bed. Can't handle or what I have a really hard time with is the aura that comes before my migraines. And if you don't know much about migraines, like an actual migraine, not just a really bad headache. A lot of people get bad headaches and they say it's a migraine. No. The aura, which happens about an hour before the migraine and will last usually until the migraine kicks in. Mine sometimes carries into the migraine. The aura is what scares me because I don't have as much control over my body. I get tunnel vision, so I can only see something properly if it's in the dead center of my vision and if it's within like a foot from my face. Like I said, I don't have as much control over my body. No, I mean, not necessarily body, but like walking takes a lot of effort. Moving my arms and my hands is where I feel it the most. I don't get pins and needles. A lot of people get pins and needles. Uh, what happens for me is my, like I just get my arms especially and my hands get really, really weak and almost numb. So it's really hard, like it takes all of my mental energy and focus to just like pour a drink and hand it to a passenger. I also get a little numb in my face and I kind of get pins and needles around my face but it's more just numbness. That's what I get during my aura and then I'm also like super sensitive to um, light and sound. That's to me the scary, the scariest part of it. The pain of a migraine, yeah, it sucks, and sometimes, like, you just can't even open your eyes. Like, any sort of light is just kills and noise. I mean, it's just, imagine, if you've never had a migraine, but you've had a headache, imagine a headache, um, but the pain is more just on one side of your face. I mean, it could be on either one, and it can transfer sides, but for the most part, it's going to be mostly on one side, so... Mine right now is on my left side, but I can feel it transferring to my right. But when I get like um, really lightheaded and dizzy, it's just not fun. It's not a fun situation at all. So there's that. I am home now and my car's starting to get really hot. So I'm going to go inside and pass out and hope hope that when I wake up the migraine is gone. I have been horrible at vlogging this week. I don't even think I ended up showing y'all my dresser, like the final result. So that'll have to be in next week's vlog because it's Sunday and I'm in Albuquerque. I was at 78 hours and maximum hours for this month is 90. So the most that they could give me is a two day. I shot down a four day and they called me for a four day. I was like, no, not happening. And I told them, you know, I'm not gonna take anything that's gonna put me over maximum. Thinking that they wouldn't call me until they had a two day. Well, this is a three day, but there are no flights tomorrow. <laughs> so it still doesn't put me over maximum hours. So today was a deadhead to West Palm Beach and then we did West Palm Beach, worked West Palm Beach to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Then we work the red eye back Tuesday morning. Like we leave at two something in the morning. So we leave like two something, I think 2.40 or whatever, I don't know, uh, Eastern time and then land about six o'clock in the morning. And that's about it. Um, but I'm so tired, I didn't realize how tired I was until just now. So I'm going to go wash my face, put my food in the fridge, and pass out. I am now in LA. I've already been to in and out and back. So we're back at the hotel now, and we're kind of like napping and regrouping before going back out 